Hey Trev, I've been thinking, I don't know if I should make this video. Why not, sir? Oh, I've just been having trouble getting bows to actually work out of these items that we've been making. You know, all these ones that the subscribers keep recommending? You're not that bad at bow making, you just have your occasional struggles. <laughs> oh, come on, think about it. The hockey stick, the rawhide with the ipe, the shovel handle. I mean, what are actually the chances of this wooden hockey stick working? The chances, sir, seem mm -hmm. slim. Slim, I'm sure they do. Let me calculate them to give you an exact answer. Oh, hurry up, can't you be faster? <laughs> Results successfully gathered. Well, it bow started off with a pallet and a tie, which was successful, then you fixed a crack in a Osage bow with duct tape. It worked, but personally I would give Osage more credit than the duct tape. Always giving your opinion. Episode 3 with the shovel handle was an epic failure by you. It was bad material. Episode 4 with the dog bone, you get half credit for that one. And the composite hockey stick bow build, you had no chance. So this means you have broken six bows and had success on three, giving you a 66.666667% chance of failure. 66% chance of failure. <laughs> Thought it might be worse than that, actually. So, what are you proposing I do? You once told me that if you don't give it 100% effort, you will never know if it would have worked. It's not bad advice. I already bought the hockey stick, so I might as well give it a try. That is right, Kramer, even though your bows may not be shatterproof. I know you are. Friends, thank you so much for joining me on today's video of Will It Bow Wooden Hockey Stick as you saw, but we've got a problem. And the problem is not everybody knows that we have a website, we have a company, I have a company. Basically, we sell bow strings and archery tabs so far and we're moving into wallets very soon and we're really excited about this launch of wallets so if you need an archery tab or a bowstring or a wallet you might just want to hit that link to be able to support well future Kramer here and yes wallets are live right now and I did a deal for you guys 15% off for the next 24 hours and honestly for handmade custom wallets our prices are very very competitive they're really good and these wallets are extremely high quality we offer a card slip the Connecticut and a vertical wallet each of those wallets we offer in three different colors that are absolutely awesome wallets. I've been carrying one of these vertical wallets for the past three, four months, and I've also carried the card slip. My favorite's the vertical wallet, but everybody has a personal preference depending on how much they want to hold in their wallet. Not only that, I've tested this out. I've sat on this wallet for a four or five hour drive, no back pain at all. I used to carry a big chunk in wallet because it was so thick, it would hurt my back if I sat on it for a long time. You can say goodbye to that. With that being said, you don't have to apply a coupon code. It'll just be 15% off on the website with the link below. So if you don't like your wallet, that'd be a great wallet to get. A great 
great way to support us. But hey, don't go buy a wallet if now's not the right time. I'm all for you guys. And part of that and what that means is even though I'd love it if you'd buy products from me, is I don't want you to buy products from me in the wrong time. So if now's not the right time in your life, I actually discourage you from going over there and getting a product. But if now is the right time for you and your family, it would be an honor if you'd go over there, pick up a wallet, pick up a tab, or pick up a bowstring if you need it. Not everybody in the world needs a tab or a bowstring, but basically most people at least carry a wallet. So if you're in the market for a wallet, head over to shatterproofarchery.com or follow the link in the description and it'll take you right to the wallets. All right, let's get back to the bow build. You might just wanna hit that link to be able to support, well, a college student who's working for me, who's just got married and is trying to pay his way through college, a former plumber who's doing all of our leather work, who's a leather craftsman, and, and I guess I used to work construction. So we're just average people just like you, and it's super fun, so I thank you so much for all your support. I couldn't be doing this without you. It really means the world to me. Kramer, I thought you were going to talk about the problem that you just nearly split the hockey stick in half. <sighs> yeah, yeah, about that. Uh, this video might be over. Not so fast, sir. We might have a shot at this. You think we got a shot? According to my calculations, you have still got a chance at this. A chance, huh? What kind of chance do we have to make this hockey stick a bow when I split it absolutely terribly? I mean, if Trevor's always given us a chance, what kind? Trevor, what kind of a chance do we actually have? I am glad you asked. 0% chance if you continue the way you are. But if you take some of that fiberglass feathers you removed off uh -huh. of the bow and mix it with work. the A40 epoxy, you may be able to patch the limb. Idea. Just grab the composite hockey stick and use it as your guide. Seriously. This could be a good idea. It's a really good idea. Trevor, you're a genius. very curious if this is gonna work. It turned out looking really good. I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But we've got two things, two things I need to tell you about. One is how this hockey stick's made. Looks like we've got an outer veneer of hardwood, which is something probably like hickory. And then we've got the feathered glass as the next layer, another layer of hickory, and then pine or spruce or some really soft white wood on the center. So this is layered differently. What this makes me think is fantastic for the back of the bow, the belly of the bow, not fantastic, but we might be able to make a bow out of it anyway. What I noticed is after I took off the one side of the hockey stick where there's the feathered glass and I let it sit, this has been about five, six days, the feathered glass started pulling tighter than the white soft wood would have. And what this has created is back set in the limbs. So the limbs are actually curving the opposite way from where we're gonna string the bow, which is actually a really, really good thing. So I'm kind of happy about that. The next thing is, I would like to reverse engineer our formula to figure out how long to make your bow in the beginning, to figure out how long we can actually draw this bow back. So we've got a 52 inch bow, then we just need to minus the handle section. So 52 inches minus six inches 
is going to get me 46 inches. And then divide that by two is 23. So it looks like we can safely get around a 23 inch draw length with this. So as I'm tillering it, I'll keep that in mind that I need to stop at that 23 inch mark. If that confused you a bit, in the last video I explained how to make a bow. Like if you're making your first bow ever, that's the video to check out. And I also explain how to figure out the length of bow you need for your specific draw length. So you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But we're getting close on this bow. I'm gonna start tillering now. Let's see if we can make this wooden hockey stick bow. We are getting really, really close on this bow. I got a string on it. It's not very high up on the brace and it's still pretty powerful. I'm actually really surprised how powerful the little amount of material we have on here is. It must be some of that hardwood mixed with the fiberglass. Also, I'm quite happy that I don't see any discrepancy or anything bad about the part of the limb we patched. I was actually really nervous about that. I honestly thought we were done. But due to some great tips, we're moving forward. Hey Kramer, do you mind if I say something? Yeah, go ahead Trev. A subscriber reached out and wanted to show you his bow. A subscriber? His name is Leo. He is a young man from New Zealand who has been making bows. Yeah, show me. What, what did he make? Oh, Leo, that's so awesome. That's an amazing bow. Goodness. Leo from New Zealand. Fantastic job on your bow. I give you a thumbs up. So 30 minutes or so on this bow and we'll have the final review. And if this works out, I'm gonna be super excited, but I'm gonna take my time on this and then I'll show you the finished product. Let's get right into it.
this is kind of fun actually. Check this out. And that is it for today's video. Stay positive, be shatterproof. I'll see you on the next video. See ya. <laughs>